A huge game tonight for the Philadelphia 76ers, and the Wells Fargo Center is going to be jumping Sixers magic in South Philly. If you want the Sixers to get that dub, it has a lot of playoff implications. I need you to hit that thumbs up icon and like the video. And with that, let's ramp it up for today's 76ers now. And as I mentioned, this is Philadelphia 76ers now by Chat Sports. I'm Chase Sr. Thank you so much for making today's show a part of your day. And coming up, an updated look at the 76ers playoff picture after both Miami and Orlando lost on Wednesday night. And that did a lot to really change things in the Eastern Conference playoff picture, but to open up a window for Philadelphia to maybe get the fourth seed, five seed, six seed, and avoid the NBA play-in tournament. Right now, here are the Eastern Conference standings. Boston Celtics still in that number one position. Milwaukee Bucks, two seed, 49 and 31. It looks as though they're going to be able to lock up that second seed there. New York Knicks, 47 and 32, third seed. And this is obviously where things are so closely contested because from the three-seeded New York Knicks, all the way to the eight-seeded Miami Heat, there is a three-game difference. Of course, Philadelphia has two games left. So those two games left, huge for Philadelphia here, 45 and 35. They still have an opportunity to get a couple of different seeds, which could be more advantageous for their first, first round matchup and maybe avoid the NBA play-in tournament. So here is the seeding probability for the 76ers here. Fourth seed, 8.1%. Not a great chance that they're able to get that. Fifth seed, 2.8%. Sixth seed, are you telling me there's a chance? 15.4%. The odds here obviously side with Philadelphia still being in the play-in tournament against Miami, but here... They would host that game at the Wells Fargo Center against Miami, 43.6%. And then if they fall to the eighth seed, I would be incredibly surprised. Longest winning streak in the NBA, playing good basketball. Joel Embiid is hooping, looks to be in shape, 28.6%. For Philadelphia to get that five seed, for us to see a 4-5 first round matchup. Scenario number one, Philadelphia and Indiana win their final two games, and Cleveland and Orlando lose their final two games. For Philadelphia to get the five seed for scenario number two, Philadelphia has to win their final two games, and Indiana loses their final two games. So there are paths for this to happen. The 76ers schedule. It's a huge game against the Orlando Magic because a win against Orlando, and a win against the Brooklyn Nets. Catapults, potentially, Philadelphia up the Eastern Conference standings leaderboard, and you're competing with the Orlando Magic here. The Pacers schedule on the road against the Cavaliers. They've been slipping. They're still looking for wins. They're playing for playoff position. And then against the Atlanta Hawks on the regular season finale Sunday, April 14th, the Cavaliers remaining schedule against the Pacers and against the Hornets. So things kind of equal and cancel themselves out with the Cavs and Pacers both playing. Ideally, that wouldn't be the situation for Philadelphia, but it is. And this situation for Orlando, it's riveting because they got dominated by the Milwaukee Bucks on Wednesday. Now, they're having to go on the road, hostile environment, for a young team to play the Sixers on Friday night. Sixers fans are starting to feel it. They're believing. They're feeling as though this could be the year to get past that second round hurdle. And they're a dangerous squad right now, especially if they're in that 2-7 and Giannis is injured. So, Orlando here may be feeling the pressure. Going to Philadelphia, and then they return home to play the Milwaukee Bucks in the regular season finale. It's more likely that the Sixers get the sixth seed, and there are two scenarios to finish with that sixth seed. For Philadelphia, 
to be in that 3-6 matchup in that first round. Scenario number one, Philadelphia and Indiana win their final two games. So that right there is scenario number one. Scenario number two, Philadelphia wins out, Orlando loses out, and then Indiana splits their final two. The note here from producer Chip is that if the Sixers, Pacers, and Magic all end with the same record, Philly finishes last of those three teams. The Sixers, in a way, don't really control their own destiny here because to get the sixth seed, Philly needs Indiana to either win or lose both of their remaining games. If they split, they need Orlando to lose out. So the bottom line to kind of summarize all of these talking points here, and we get it, it's a lot to absorb and it's a lot to take in, and I'm not good at math, the people know that, but we're trying to break it down and simplify it for everybody. The Sixers cannot lose to the Orlando Magic on Friday, and they shouldn't lose. Coaching edge, roster edge, experience edge, home court advantage, and this is really an opportunity for Philadelphia to play in a playoff level atmosphere. So you can't lose to Orlando tomorrow, or they are in real danger of maybe falling to the eighth seed. With that, let's ask you this. Where will the Sixers finish in the Eastern Conference standings? It is the massive question mark right now all across Philadelphia. Now coming up next, some potential playoff opponents for Philadelphia. But first, let's tell you about this Tyrese Maxey shirt deal. Thanks to our friends at Fanatics. Head to chatsports.com slash maxi use that link and this shirt was forty dollars now just on sale for thirty dollars but you have to use that link down below in order for that deal to apply available in black as well as navy blue let's take a look at those likely first round matchups for the sixers so many moving parts and you know i was watching the mavericks play the miami heat on wednesday night jj reddick made a decent point that by including the nba plan tournament to the schedule as well as or the uh, in-season tournament and the play-in tournament, it's made these final few games a little bit more riveting, a little bit more interesting, because there are all these different scenarios going into the final day of the regular season. So likely first-round matchups here. You start off with the Milwaukee Bucks. And with Milwaukee, there's so much intrigue here going up against Glenn Rivers. Milwaukee... Fired Adrian Griffin. They were a terrific team under Adrian Griffin. Since they fired him, they are a 500 ball club. 17 and 17. The other point of intrigue here, Giannis's status with this calf strain, it's unknown for the first round. It's unknown for the entire playoffs. We are not sure when Giannis is going to come back. And Sixers Bucks this year, the Bucks won the season series 3 0. Joel Embiid only played in one game. That was the season opener. And that was that 118 117 loss to Milwaukee when we were live here on 76ers now. And we're like, the Nick Nurse effect? It is real. He's going to make an impact for this team. I think the Sixers could beat Milwaukee in the first round in that 2 7. I've always wanted to see a Giannis. Embiid matchup in the playoffs. We've never seen it. We still might not see it because of that injury. Opponent number two, the New York Knicks. And this could be the 3-6. This could be the 4-5. A couple of different scenarios there. The Knicks, 14-10 since the All-Star break. When they had Julius Randle, OG Ananobi, both playing, they were really good. But now Julius Randle is out for the year. He's done for the season. And the Knicks here, 18 and 15 without Julius Randle. In the regular season, that's impactful. I actually think that they're not going to miss him all that much in the playoffs because he's not a good playoff performer. Maybe that would help Philadelphia. OG Ananobi has returned to the lineup. And the Knicks are 17 and 3 when he plays. Can hit the three. Solid offensive game. Very good defensive player. He's very much like Kawhi Leonard. If he's not feeling close to 100%, he's not going to play. If he is feeling close to 100%, he's going to play, and he's going to play well, and he can be a pest. The Knicks won the season series 3-1, but again, only Joel Embiid played in one game, and the 76ers points per game against the Knicks, 86.5. They could not score against New York. 
A lot of those matchups happening later in the season, again, without Joel Embiid. Prior to this year, Joel Embiid has owned the New York Knicks. And I think the Knicks are one of those teams. They're really solid in the regular season. You get them in the playoffs, though, when offensive possessions become a little bit more important. They struggle offensively. You can play great defense with effort, but everybody plays with effort in the playoffs. And then you have the Cleveland Cavaliers as the other likely first-round matchup. It's not just the recent play of Philadelphia that has me feeling this way. I'm confident in the Sixers' chances in playing and beating these three teams in the first round of the NBA playoffs, especially Cleveland. Those of you who watch the show, I've been calling for this for a while. Give me Cleveland. They are 11-16 and 16 since the All-Star break. Donovan Mitchell, 10 games played since the All-Star break. He is still dealing with with a bone bruise in his knee. Their coach, J.B. Bickerstaff, is on the hot seat. In the playoffs last year, they lost to the New York Knicks, and they were a mess as far as coaching goes. Nick Nurse would be able to go a long way in helping the Sixers win that playoff series. The Sixers against the Cavs. They split the season series 2-2, and beat is historically dominated against Jarrett Allen. The Sixers ended the Cavs Double-digit winning streak back several weeks ago right after they acquired Buddy Heald. It was a great win for Philadelphia without Joel Embiid. 14 games played for Embiid against Jarrett Allen. He has averaged nearly 30 points per game, 13 and a half rebounds, 4 and a half assists per night. So let's ask you this. We round out the show with it. Who is your ideal first-round matchup? Ideally, it's Cleveland. The most difficult matchup, if Giannis plays, probably Milwaukee because him and Dame, they can go off in a playoff game. The most fun, I-95 matchup, Philadelphia and New York. When was the last time we got to see that? It's been a while. Make sure you subscribe to us here if you love the Sixers and if you want year-round Sixers coverage. Thanks for watching the show. We'll catch you next time. Peace.